Now let us try the same exercise but this time inside Visual Studio Code because I want you to see what it would look like inside an IDE. So here I am inside Visual Studio Code. I have created a blank Python file called health.py. Once again, the choice of the name of the file health.py is a hint to my generative AI. Here again, inside Visual Studio Code, I have my GitHub Copilot activated and ready to help me. So let me go ahead and paste the same code that we had earlier and let us see how we could debug this code inside Visual Studio Code. So again let us begin the same way. We are going to open a chat window. This is a little bit like opening up a conversation with ChatGPT. The big difference is that in this case the AI model behind this chat interface is trained on code, whereas the model for ChatGPT is trained to answer more general questions. This particular chat model will only focus on your code and will try and suggest improvements that are more relevant in a programming context. So let us try this in the same way. So in this chat window, I'm going to simply say fix this code. And again, uh, the AI is working and it will say the code has several issues that need to be addressed. In this case, it explicitly realizes that the height unit is mismatched. ChatGPT did recognize this and it made an assumption that we wanted the height in inches and it went ahead with that without explicitly telling us that the heights were mismatched. So here it is saying the height input is likely in inches of course, it is making an assumption here. It doesn't know that we would prefer the height to be in centimeters. And it is saying that it is making that assumption because the BMI formula is using that scaling factor 703, which we saw from the Wikipedia article. And it's saying, but in contrast, the other formulas seem to be using height in centimeters. And it says that this inconsistency, of course, needs to be resolved. For the IBW formula, it is saying that formula is incorrect. It should again be uh, adjusted for the proper units. And again, it is recognizing that it is not taking into account the gender specific calculations. Furthermore, it is suggesting something that ChatGPT did not suggest. It is telling us that as programmers, we should write code that is capable of handling errors. Now, so far, we have not seen enough Python syntax to deal with such situations. But I want you to notice how the quality of the conversation that we're having is quite different within the IDE using an AI model that is focused on programming versus a general model like ChatGPT. If you can get a setup similar to the one that I'm showing you here where I'm using an IDE and I'm using an AI model specifically trained for programming, you will find that the quality of the answers that you get are better. Now, you might find that initially, since we are just beginning, the answers that ChatGPT produces are more readable, they're more accessible to us as beginners. You might find that some of the suggestions that this model makes are too advanced for us. But I promise you that as we gain confidence and as we learn more as programmers, this type of feedback is usually much more helpful.